and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bikes and how long they last for and when I say how long do they last for I'm thinking more like the motor or the battery because we know that tires are going to wear out and brake pads are going to wear out but I'm thinking about like the main components of a bike how long does it last you and on uh, I wanted to mention that the bike the reason why I'm talking about that is the bike has now passed 100 miles I'm currently at 106.7 miles as we speak on the Lyric Graffiti and I'm wondering just I wonder how just how long you get on a bike you know I know the tires aren't going to last forever um, they're probably the first thing that's going to go but um, just I wonder how long you would get I don't know anybody that has uh, basically ridden a bike long enough to wear it out basically you know basically and uh, so I don't know like I'd like to know in miles not time because everybody rides differently right some people ride a lot of miles and some people not so much so I'm thinking more like how many miles Can you get, can a bike go 5,000 miles? Can you go 10,000 miles? It might be dependent on several things like including uh, the brand of bike. Maybe some brands last longer than others. Maybe the, how well you take care of the bike. I'm sure there's some factors in there, but it's a good question. Has anybody ever ridden a bike, an electric bike, long enough to know about that? And if you have or know somebody that has, let me know in the comments below on how long you got on your bike and what kind of bike did you have or did they have. We're, we're still in the kind of early stages e-bikes at least in this part of the world and so I'm just curious it doesn't take long to pile up the miles on a bike either So we're in a busy parking lot at the moment and uh, let me put my glove back on. Alright. So I do wonder though how far we can get on a bike. If I'm ever going to have a bike go the distance, I kind of want it to be this one, the Lyric Graffiti. I, I like this bike so much. 100 miles in that this could be the bike that I ride right into its grave. I don't know if I'm going to make this light. 
Nope. So we're up to 107.6 miles. Like I say, it doesn't take long to pile the miles on a bike. If you ride a bike, you know, every single day even, five miles a day, that's 35 miles a week. That adds up pretty quick. It can be into the thousands by the end of the year. Especially if you ride year round pretty much like I do. I just don't ride as far in the winter, but I still like to get out if I can, the best I can. Today is just nice. I think we've got a little over 40 degrees and sunshine, very little wind. Can't complain about that. But in the summer, that's where you make your real mileage go a lot further. It's a lot better on today's ride than we've had recently here. Come on, buddy. They're talking about a possibility of more not good weather coming, but we shall see. I guess our winter is late this year. Oh, this road is slushy right there and icy. They've obviously put gravel down on this road. They have a funny way here of uh, of uh, de-icing, if you will, their roads. They use gravel. Oh, now we're past that. Now we're coming up to the golf course. I don't see anybody out there today. This is not a, uh, not really a cold day. It's you know, if you, as long as you're moving around and not standing still in the shade, not too bad at all. I think the temperature is around 43 degrees or something like that, or maybe a little less, just a little over 40. And uh, very little wind, maybe just a very slight. So much better though with dry roads. It can get a little tricky riding in that ice.
getting back to about how long a bike can go, particularly the motor or battery, especially the motor. I've talked a little bit about battery before, but a motor, does anybody know how long you get out of a motor and is a gearless hub motor compared to a geared hub motor any different in longevity? Does one motor outlast the other? And uh, and also, uh, what about uh, mid-drive? Are they better? Like, which one lasts the longest? Or is there any difference? And what about controllers? Does anyone know how long a controller lasts? I have no idea on any of that. And if you do know anything about that and how long you should expect your controller on a bike or your motor on a bike or even the battery. Um, how long you get before you have to start replacing. I noticed on the bike here that the battery, I switched it from volts to uh, percent for the battery. Uh, and uh, for the uh, displaying the battery and how much you have left on it. I have 60% at the moment. I'm wondering, or I was gonna not wondering, I know for a fact that it goes in 10% or 20% increments. So it'll go from 100 to 80 to 60, which it's at now. Uh, I'm running uh, at 60% as I say. Well, I wonder why it uh, is in 20% increments or can I change that in the settings? I don't know. I haven't looked at that to see. I just changed it from uh, the volts to percent, but I didn't. I don't know if there's an option to change it to more like one percent increments or When you get riding around on the bike, especially if it's not too bad a weather out, you just kind of want to keep going. I really like this regen braking. Have I said that before? Probably a million times. I really like that though. I kind of find the uh, the sweet spot on this bike is to just ride at about 25 miles an hour. It seems like a good speed. Especially in these uh, side streets, right? That's usually the uh, speed limit anyway. So uh, 25 seems pretty nice. A pretty good comfortable speed. The bike handles really well. So our first 100 plus miles on the bike, and uh, I'm sure it won't be long before we'll be hitting 200 miles on the bike, and then before you know it, you'll be up to 1,000 miles on the bike.
It sounds like a lot, it is a lot, but you know, it sure doesn't take long to get there though, as I was saying, but... I think the tires are supposed to be good for uh, seven, I think it's 700 miles or maybe slightly over to about 1200 miles. I believe that's what it said in the manual. I'm sure it depends on where you're riding. It's really weird to see snow around here for several days and, and not melting. Uh, not completely melted at least. Um, normally, when you get snow here, it melts pretty quickly. Like, usually it starts melting the same day in the afternoon or whatever, if it snows in the morning or overnight, or for sure by the next day. So to have some lingering around days later, different now in my first now 110 miles on the bike I'm really getting used to uh, a couple of things now. The uh, the uh, regen braking, which I've never had before, so I'm getting uh, really used to that. I'm finding myself basically using that all the time. Um, and the thumb throttle on the other side for uh, uh, for me is. It's uh, different because I'm not used to using it. I have used it in the past on an old uh, three-wheel Honda uh, 90 several years back, but. And uh, with the throttle, I'm, I'm getting used to that too and kind of don't mind it. I didn't think I would like it, but now, you know, after using it for 110 miles, I actually am getting uh, to like it. I don't, usually I don't get too fussy on things like that. I kind of try to adapt to whatever it is and go with what, um, you know, what the bike has. But I can understand people getting, being so used to uh, a twist throttle that they don't want any different. But um, I, I really don't mind it. But to each his own or her own, because uh, if we all like the exact same things, it would be a pretty boring world, I would say. Just like music or anything else. Some people like classical, some like opera, some like classic rock, some like country blues, rap, all right well that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel I hope you enjoyed the 100 mile uh, anniversary if you will <laughs> of the bike I don't know what to call it. 100 miles ridden and uh, we're well on our way to the second 100 miles if you've got any uh, comments on this video or any other videos go ahead and leave them in the comments below if you like this video hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel please do hit that subscribe button 
And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Also, if you would like to purchase this Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the description. And I do have a discount code. It's Oregon E-Biker Mark. That's all one word, Oregon E-Biker Mark. And that will now get you $150 off of the purchase of a new bike. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.